Hi, Jeremy. Hi. I'm Nurse B. Hi. I'm going to be doing a full systematic check of you today um, since you came in to see us here at the hospital. And we just want to make sure that everything's working as it should. I'm just looking at previous notes in your chart. And it looks like you just came in with a little lightheadedness and shortness of breath. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling at the moment now? Um, I'm feeling okay right now. Okay, good. I know we did give you some fluids and some rest and just watched you overnight. So let's go ahead and check everything today and make sure everything's gone back to normal. Um, initial findings were that it could just be um, exhaustion, okay? So just confirm your first name and your date of birth for me, please. Uh, Jeremy11. One, one. Okay, great. So we're going to be starting out um, moving from system to system. So let's start out first with the neurological system. All right, so looking at my notes, it doesn't look like you had any other symptoms besides that fatigue and shortness of breath. Is that correct? A little yeah, lightheadedness? That's correct. Okay. Um, anything new that's come up since you've arrived at the hospital today? No. All right, and on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being no pain and 10 being excruciating pain, uh, what number would you say you are today? Uh, 1. Okay, so no pain. Um, do you need any medication before we begin the assessment? No. Okay, wonderful. Uh, so let's start out with the neurological system. Uh, can you tell me again, just remind me who you are, what's your name? Uh, my name is Jeremy. Okay, and where are you today? Uh, at the hospital. Okay, and about what time of day is it? Um, it's about 11. Okay, so oriented to person, place, and time. Um, and do you know what you're doing here? Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, what brought you in? Just just remind me why you're here in this situation. Um, I had shortness of breath. Okay, so you came into the hospital. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you seem like you know, you know, What's going on? Do you know what year it is? Um, 2023. All right, wonderful. Just testing a little bit of memory. Uh, what's the last place you traveled or visited? Um, California. Okay, uh, so that's all good. And then who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. Okay, all the thinking looks intact there. So... I'm going to give you this board here to test some of your cognitive abilities. And the first thing I have to do is just draw me a square. Okay, and I'm going to put some numbers on here, and I want you to just do a little bit of math. Okay, can you write out what that is? Very good, 4 plus 2 equals 6. And I'll do one more that's a little bit more complex. Good, six times five equals 30. Uh, I'm gonna write a sentence here. First, can you just read that for me, please? The boy jumped into the pool. Okay, and I want you to circle the subject of the sentence. So the, very good, the boy, and then the verb correct, jumped, and then um, the noun where he jumped into the pool. All right, very good. All right, repeat after me. No ifs, ands, or buts. No ifs, ands, or buts. So all of that's intact as well. So, so far I'm not seeing any deficit in the um, neurological systems, but let's go ahead and continue with the cranial nerves. Um, so first thing is just, could you make a couple of faces for me? I wanna test the strength in their face. Could you raise your eyebrows up really high? Okay, and can you close them really, really tight? Okay, and puff out your cheeks for me. Good, and uh, just for symmetry, stick out your, relax and stick out your tongue. 
and move it side to side for me. Very good. Good symmetry there. I'm just going to take a look and I want you to do that all again against just some resistance. Chest those facial nerves. So up against my hand. Good. And close your eyes nice and tight and don't let me open them. Good. Puff those cheeks out. Good. And uh, just push your tongue into my finger here and into my finger there. Okay, good strength there. I want you to open and close your jaw for me, testing the trigeminal nerve, and clench your teeth. One more time. One more time. Very good. All right, I'm going to test your ability to smell and taste uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll check the nose and the mouth a little bit later with a different system um, but for right now are you having any difficulties with smell or taste? No. So I want you to close your eyes and I've got two smells here. I want you to just close one of your nostrils for me please and just breathe in. Okay so that's patent and clear so go ahead and keep that closed and tell me what this smells like. Take a big breath. Um, garlic, maybe? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now please cover the other nose, nostril, and breathe in. And, okay, relax. And now I'm going to have you take another deep breath in and tell me what that smells like. Um, coffee? Yep, that's perfect. That's excellent. And now I'm going to give you something to taste, and I just want you to taste... Just a little bit of it. Again, close your eyes and just let a little bit of it hit your lips. Are you able to get that taste there? Mm -hmm. Okay, what does that taste to you? Like? Lemon? Yep, lemon or sour. Very good. And would you like a little drink of water to wash that out of your mouth? Um, sure. Okay, there you go. Okay. I'm going to move on to your hearing now. Just checking the ears. Any pain when I touch you on the ears? Um, no. Okay, look inside. do look fine just checking the outside same thing here got a glove here okay and do you hear that little sound mm -hmm. right, close your eyes just tell me uh, which side you hear it on left right make a little bit of a soft noise and I just want you to tell me when it goes away. It's gone. Okay, same thing here. It's gone. Okay. I'm going to whisper something into your ear and I just want you to repeat after me. I'm going to hold the other ear down so you can't uh, hear it with that ear. Four, five, six. Very good. Same thing on this side. D, E, F. All right. I just want you to tell me if you hear it left, right, or equally on both sides, okay? Equal. Very good. And do you hear this here behind your ear? Mm hmm Tell me when it goes away. It's gone. Can you still hear that there? Mm hmm Tell me when that goes away. It's gone. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side again. Do you hear this? Mm hmm Tell me when it stops. It's gone. 
What about when it goes away? Well, that's good. So hearing is fully intact, no loss of high or low frequencies. All right, and lastly for the cranial nerves, I want to check your vision. So I'm going to have you just look straight ahead for me, and I am going to shine a, shine a bright light, so I apologize, it will be bright. Let your eyes get back to normal. Got just a little bit of a cotton here. I'm gonna move it into it close to your eyes and I just want you to um, try and ignore it and relax, uh, react comfortably, okay? Okay, good. Good, so that reflex is intact there in the eye. Can you see my pen here? Mm -hmm. Any double vision with that? No. It looks clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just keep your head still and follow it everywhere it goes. Any double vision? No. Right, that looks great. I want you to stare straight at that wall over there. Ignore my pen. And now look at the pen. Very good. And back to the wall. And back to the pen. All right, excellent. I'm going to look just into the back of your eye now. Just relax and look straight ahead for me. I'm just going to put on some gloves now to touch your eyes. I'm going to be pulling down on the conductiva, so just open your eyes for me and look up. Okay, and can you do the same thing but look down for me? Okay, any pain here when I touch those tear glands? No. Okay, just palpating the eyes themselves. Any pain with that? No. All right, so the cranial nerves and cognition are intact, but I do want to do a full sensory exam. Um, I'll start out with your face, and then I'll have you change into a gown for the rest of your body, okay? Okay. So first thing, I just want to know if you feel this sensation. So keep your eyes closed. I'm going to be touching you on different parts of your face. And just say yes if you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay, and does this feel the same as that? Yes. Here and here. Yes. Here and here. Yes. Okay. Next, I want to test your differentiation between um, a sharp stimulus like that and a soft like that. Do you feel a difference between mm -hmm. this and that? Yes. Okay, so just say sharp or dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. 
Very good. I'm going to hit this tuning fork again. You're going to feel a little bit of a vibration. Let me show you how it's going to feel. Do you feel that vibration there? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I just want you to tell me if it's vibration like that or pressure just like that. Okay. Feel the difference? Okay. Vibration. Pressure. Good. Vibration. Mm-hmm. Pressure. Vibration. Very good. Vibration. Pressure. Very good. And what's colder, one or two? One. One or two? Two. So that's all the sensory in your face. I think everything looks fine, um, but I do want to go ahead and check the entire body. So I'll have you change into your gown now, okay? Okay, okay Jeremy, now that you're in your gown, we'll continue with the sensory on the upper body and the chest. Um, and it does seem like one of our hospital therapy dogs has come in for the exam. Is that all right with you? Mm -hmm, definitely. All right, so we'll just move him around as needed, but people do find him very comforting. Um, so if, especially if you have a little bit of white coat um, syndrome, a little anxiety at the doctors, that can be very helpful. Mm -hmm. right. So I'm just going to roll up the sleeves here. So I'm going to do those same sensory tests on the arms themselves. So again, close your eyes. I'm just going to touch different parts of your arm and I want you to say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Could you just uh, put your arms, um, open them like that, and lay them like that? Perfect. Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Any difference side to side? No. Same here and here? Yes. And here and here? Yes. Next up is the sharper doll. So again, uh, you feel the difference between this and this? Mm -hmm. All right, so just tell me what you feel. Sharp, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, 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 dull. Okay, and I want you to tell me if it feels sharp all the way down. Any difference? in the sharpness, or is it the same? The same. Okay, and on this arm? Same. Okay. Again, vibration or pressure, so just tell me what you feel. Vibration. 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 Pressure. Okay. Try that again. Do you feel the difference between this? What does that feel like? Vibration. About now. Pressure. Okay. Vibration. Pressure. Vibration. Pressure. Pressure. Good. Vibration. 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 Pressure. Okay. Again, what's colder, one or two? You feel two um, bits of pressure, and I want you to tell me which one is colder. Two. One. Two. Good. One. It's a bit of a trick one. They're both cold. So you feel how that feels mm -hmm. the same? Mm -hmm. Okay. One. Two. All right. So the arm sensory is intact. Just for 
um, extra fun because you were feeling a little bit lightheaded and weak. I just want to make sure with uh, this pinwheel here that that feels the same all the way down. Okay, that's going to stimulate the nerves specifically. And it's going to be pretty light but pretty sharp. You can keep your eyes open and just tell me if there's any change when I come down here. Any change? No. To the fingertips here? All sharp? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And same thing on this side. Any difference coming down? No. To the fingers? Okay. While I have this, I want you to flip your hands and just relax them down. And I'm going to be um, drawing a number in your hand. And I want you to tell me what number that is. Again, close your eyes. Three. Okay. And on this side? One. Okay. And add those together. Four. Very good. I'm going to be, have you keep your eyes closed. I'm going to place an object in your hand. I want you to tell me what that object is. Just in the one hand. Keep it in that hand. A uh, key. Okay. Very good. And I'm going to place something in the other hand now. And I want you to just tell me what this feels like. Um, a pen. Yep, very good. Now with this hand, I'm going to move the joint up or down. So up is like this and down is like that. Just say up or down. Up, up, down, down. Okay, now do the same thing on this side. Down, up, 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 down. All right. The last thing I want to do with the neuro neurological in your hand is just poke you here with one point or two points, okay? One, two, one, one, two. All right, and on this side? One, two, one, two, two. All right. So I just want to do a quick sensation on the legs. You, you were fully intact on the arms and the face, so I'm not super worried, but we'll just run that um, sharp pinwheel down the leg and just touch you side to side and make sure that there's nothing we've missed, okay? And you, no numbness in, or tingling in the feet, toes, feet, anything like that? No. And I'm just going to work around our therapy dog here. So close your eyes and tell me left or right. Right. Oh. Good. Left. Right. Left. Okay. I've got this sharp tool here again. I'm just going to run it down the pant leg. Do you feel the sharp there mm -hmm. through the pants? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me if you feel any changes. Sharp all the way down. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. Sharp all the way. Mm-hmm. And what about the bottom of the foot? Yeah. Okay. I'm not too concerned about the testing the sensation any more in depth down there just because we already have it um, pretty well mapped out on the top. But if anything changes, come back in and we can do a more thorough assessment down on the lower body, okay? Okay. Just making a note of that. Let's move on to the cardiovascular system. We'll start out with getting your blood pressure. Do you have an arm preference? No. Okay, let's go ahead and do this side here. Relax the arm there. I'm going to have you hold onto this for me, just sort of facing out with the other hand, this hand here. Yeah, perfect. Exactly. And just relax. And 
You're going to feel a little bit of pressure, okay, Jeremy? Mm -hmm. So 110 over 72, so that's very good. I want to make sure it's not too low with that feeling lightheadedness. We'll check your temperature as well. So I'm just going to place this here. And we have 97.6, so it's a little bit low, but is that normal for you to run a little low? I think so, yeah. Okay. I'm going to listen to your heart now, Jeremy, so I'm just going to uh, drop my stethoscope down your gown, okay? So just relax. And breathe normally. Okay. That's all fine. I'm just going to look at the chest wall. Don't mind, I'm just going to move this down for just a second. That's good, you can relax. No heaving. I'm just going to have you put your neck back for a second. I'm just going to check a vein here in your neck. Looking for any pulsation. And that looks fine. Feel here. All right, not feeling anything out of the norm. I'm going to be feeling it pulses in your neck. So, uh, first, I'm going to listen to the one in the neck. One at a time here. Good, no worries. Now I'm just feeling. Good. Okay. Feel the temples here. Checking the arm pulses. Okay, the wrist here. That's the top of the hands. Pulse here right in the stomach, okay? Okay. Check your ankles. Just one here on the knee, okay? And that's all fine. So all pulses are two plus and equal bilaterally. Move on to the respiratory system here. Cardiac system looks fine. Um, did you feel any fluttering in your chest when you had that lightheadedness? 
Maybe a little. Maybe a little? Okay. Seems to be um, okay today, but we may want to do uh, an EKG just to make sure that there's nothing going on. Now just listen to the lungs now. So I want you to just take a little breath every time I touch you. Um, you don't have to go too deep. I just want to be able to hear it breathing in and out. Gonna go underneath here. Good. All right, the lung sounds are clear. I know you were having just a little bit trouble breathing the other day. Um, sounds like that feels better today, right? It does, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna palpate the chest wall. Any pain when I press on you here? No. What about here on the sides? Any pain there? Mm -hmm, maybe a little tenderness. Just a little tenderness. Is it? More in the muscle or in the ribs? I think the ribs. Okay. So you could have a little bit of a, a strain there. I'm going to just pat, tap on each um, lung here, and I want you to tell me if it feels worse in anywhere than the other, okay? Down on the lower feels a little worse. A little bit more here? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about this side? That side's yeah, okay? Same. same on this side? Mm -hmm. So it's really it's really here really here. Mm -hmm. I'll make a note of that. So we've got a little bit of tenderness, the oblique side. The lungs and does it hurt to take a deep breath I want you to take a deep breath in for me expand is that pain on that side there at all no not really okay so lung expansion is normal I'm gonna put my hands on your chest here and I want you to say 99 when you feel me touch you okay 99 99 99 99. Okay, very good. That's all fine. And let's just make sure that you are fully getting enough oxygen here. I'm going to place that on your finger and just relax. It takes about 15 seconds. And 98%. So that's very normal. Um, you should be getting full oxygen to the body. Um, again, no, no lightheaded now, lightheadedness no. now. Okay. I'm going to have you just sit up for me. I'm just going to listen on the back. Okay. You're just feeling. Is that tenderness on the back here at all? Um, not really. Okay. All right, let me take a listen. And again, just take a little breath for me every time I touch you. Anything on this side? Okay. Still sounds clear to me. I'm just going to tap on your back a little. And say 99 for me. 99. 99. 99. While I'm back here, I'm just going to feel the spine. Any tenderness there? Um, okay, relax for me, please. Just open your mouth for me. I'm just going to check the back of your throat. You say, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, that's fine. And again, just breathe in and out for me. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's any sort of deviation in the septum. Um, you're able to breathe in and out without uh, obstruction, correct? Mm-hmm.
So I do want to definitely maybe just get an x-ray of those lungs to make sure uh, it could be a muscular thing, the oblique muscle right there along the ribs, or it could be um, a bit of bruising to the ribs. Have you, have you had any impacts or anything lately? Not that I can think of. All right, so we'll check on that. I'm going to give you a little bit of water. I'm just going to check the thyroid here. I want you to take a sip of it, but keep it in your mouth. Okay. And then go ahead and swallow for me. Go. Lymphatic system's next, so let's feel the lymph nodes. Any issues with swelling in your neck or any pain, lumps, bumps that you felt? No. And I'm just going to feel under here, just relax into my arm here. I'm just going to be getting up into the underarm. Okay. And same thing on the other side. That's fine. Okay. I didn't feel any sort of swelling. I'm just going to check for the pancreas. Any pain when I do this? No. Okay. All right, moving on to the next system. I'm going to check all the skin on your face and arms. In fact, go ahead and just um, look with my magnifying light here. And I'm just going to be looking for any scrapes, bruises, uh, moles, nevi, anything that needs attention, so just close your eyes for me and I'll just be checking the whole the skin. And you are quite fair, so I'm just going to look relatively thoroughly. And just relax. I do just see one little slightly asymmetrical nevi here, so let me write that down. And that's on the right upper arm, shoulder. We'll just watch that. Also feeling the temperature of the skin as I do this. Everything feels warm and dry. Okay, good. Just going to check the lower legs here. And do you mind if I remove the socks? I definitely check the bottom of the feet and in between the toes for anything that might be hiding. That all looks great. While we're down here, I'll check your nails. The capillary refill. Okay, good. Less than two seconds. Put that back on for you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Check the other side now. Problems there. Cap 
refill is good and brisk. Right, so the skin looks fine for me. I did check out the skin in the back when I was back there and I didn't see any issues. The nails here. I want you to just uh, check for clubbing for me. Just each finger like this. Good. And, we'll, and then I just want to check the capillary refill. Very brisk. Okay, that's fine. Take a look at the scalp and the head. Again, I'm going to put some gloves on for that. tenderness here on the scalp? No. This side? No. Hair is nice and thick, no thinning. Strong hairline. You notice any changes to the hair lately? No. Color is consistent. Mm -hmm. Okay, checking the beard. Same thing with the beard, it's the same texture and color as you're normal used to. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna run the brush here through. I'm just looking for any infestation or anything that shouldn't be there. looks fine. Scalp looks healthy. And just check for, make sure there's no sun spots or moles. Anything that I missed? I don't think so. said no pain or discomfort here. No. Okay, I'm just gonna All right, moving on to the skeletal system. I'm gonna be doing a range of motion for the body. And that's gonna just have you make a bunch of movements by yourself from head to toe, okay? Mm -hmm. So I want you to just put your head to forward all the way it can go and back all the way it can go. Obviously, I know there's a pillow, but I'm just looking for general range. All right. And, and turn to your left and to your right. Any pain with that? No. Can you shrug your shoulders up? Okay. And out like this. Very good. Um, can you go up like this? Very good. Any pain with that? No. Hands up and down. Good. Fingers outwards and inwards. Make a fist for me. All right, no problems there. Um, I'm just gonna have you sort of twist as best you can to your right with your back and then the other way. Any discomfort with that? No. Okay. Um, I know that you have our lovely um, little emotional support dog on your legs, so I'll just have you um, put your ankles up and push down, okay? And uh, can you just um, slide your leg out this way for me? And back in. And same thing on that side, just testing that hip out and back in. Okay, so any problems sitting, standing, anything like that? No. Okay, can you put your arms all the way out for me and just keep them there? Close your eyes. Okay, and now a uh, little carpal tunnel test, so like this. Any tingling in here? No. What about, keep them like that for me, please? What about when I tap you here? No. Okay, go the other way into hands into prayer. Any pain here? No. Okay, relax for me. I'm gonna have you do that all again, just against resistance to test the muscular strength of your body, okay? Okay. So I want you to push forward for me and back into my hand. Turn here. 
And the other way. Good. Shrug your shoulders. Good. I want you to put your arms up and try and push me away. And pull me towards you. Okay. Wrist down. Don't let me pull you. Good. Push me away with your hands. Okay. Um, I just want you to push me side to side. So push there and there. Good. Here and here. Very good. And you can relax your hands. Just fingers out nice and wide. Don't let me close them. Good. And put them together nice and tight. And don't let me open them. Very good. Um, the same thing. Push out against my hand here. Good. And can you go up? Okay, nice and strong. Up. Out. Down here. And back. Good. Strength is all five out of five. And as is movement. Let's go ahead and get your reflexes now. Checking the tendons and just give me all the weight in your arm. Just completely relax. Perfect. Okay. Same thing here. Just completely relax. Okay. I'm going to scrape the palm. Just look away. Come around, do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And just stare away. Good. I come down here, I'm going to slide my hand under your knee, and I just want you to fully relax on the weight of my hand. the ankles first. Good. Good. Same thing here. Okay. Good. Just underneath here again, just give me all your weight. Good. Gonna check the reflex in your jaw, so let it hang for me, please. Okay. I'm getting very close there, Jeremy. Thank you for bearing with me. Everything looks great there. I'm just gonna finish up with your stomach, okay? So start out by having a listen. Put your arms to the side for me, please. There we go. And I'm just going to be listening. Okay. Hearing sounds in all quadrants. I'm going to be tapping a little bit here, I'm just listening for the resonance. Okay, and just a little bit of palpation. Let me know if there's anything that hurts. Any of that painful or tender? Yeah. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. No pain or tenderness there. Mm -hmm. I have you sit up for just a second. I want to just hit the kidneys here. Any pain there? No. What about there? No. Okay, relax for me. So I think that that's all fine. Check your notes here. I've recorded everything in the computer. I'm just going to check off on your chart here that we had today's assessment. You can put that right on the door. And so do you have any current discomfort after this assessment? Anything that's bothering you? No. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mark you as safe for discharge today, um, but please don't hesitate to come back in if you're feeling any of those other symptoms. I'd also like you to schedule um, a separate uh, doctor's appointment, not at the hospital, just with your regular doctor, uh, to get an EKG test of the heart for that fluttering and an x-ray for the lungs, just to make sure there's nothing going on. Um, but I'm going to guess that that initial diagnosis of exhaustion is probably correct. Um, and the tension in the sides could actually be muscular, just sort of pulling on you, especially if you sit a lot, if you're looking at a computer a lot, uh, not sleeping well, all, all right. that can play a factor, okay? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. And do you have any other questions for me today? I think that's it. All right, so I'll go ahead and leave you with Chili, our emotional support dog, for as long as you need. Um, and I hope you feel better very soon. Thank you. Thank you.